before he committed suicide. And he said, hey, man, Alex, I thought you had the courage to put this up and do something. And I said, yeah, there's thousands of pages of this stuff. And a lot of this is court records and stuff. And, and I go, I guess I'll put it out. But he goes, well, I thought you got balls. I mean, th these are epic conversations I had with Gary Webb, now a hit movie out about him. And it was so surreal to be sitting there in the movie theater and knowing his whole story, and it was so accurate. And then they basically imply that the CIA kills him at the end, and they show the CIA threatening his kids and breaking his house and breaking his car and steal his motorcycle. And it was just, I know the story so well. I know Freeway Ricky Ross. I was the only person to ever interview him in prison. Kevin Booth got that interview from prison. I mean, I had the guy on death row on from Oklahoma, from, from Terre Haute, who was there and, 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 and saw McVeigh admit what was later partially declassified, that he was black ops, army, super special forces set up. I, I just, I'm not even here bragging, oh my gosh, this show's important. I felt incredibly guilty that I don't even know where that disc is, that CD-ROM that I opened up, and it was just, I don't even know how to process all this stuff. I need to tear apart our storage buildings and find that. And they don't even want to talk about how I had that disc because they were like killing people over this stuff. And then I went and searched last night when I got home. I went to bed, then I woke up in the middle of the night and went and searched for like an hour at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and I couldn't even find one interview I did with Gary Webb. It's kind of like I did a couple interviews, two interviews with Charlton Heston. I can only find one. There, there were probably 15 interviews with Gary Webb. Two-hour interviews, some of them. And this was back when they had demonized him in the New York Times and the Washington Post. And when they had just torn him apart. And of course, it all turned out everything he said was true. It was very accurate. He was just pointing out what was already known and even been in congressional hearings years before on Southeast Asian drug dealing, heroin, not cocaine, not, not white girl, as they call it. And I was just thinking about how bizarre it, it is that I talked to him a couple months before he died and, and, and I was remembering back my last conversation with him is he got mad at me and slammed the phone down. And he was just somebody looking for help because he resigned from the San Jose Mercury News. He was trying to get his stories out on the internet. They were breaking in his house a bunch, so he moved again. He'd pull up and guys would slide down from the second story, you know, down the drainage pipe. And then he moved into a one-story house. And then they'd have known CIA people write articles about me right after he died saying Jones claims that men slid down the drainage pipe, but Webb lived in a one story. Well, yeah, he just moved into it. It was just all these games. And then watching how they demonized him and how they tried to f kill his name before they physically killed him and experiencing a lot of this myself, it was a surreal I've never gone and seen a movie where, from what I know, it was so incredibly accurate and so incredibly sad, and then I resonated with it because they always make it about the individual. If they can't disprove your facts, they just demonize and destroy the individual themselves. And I got a sick feeling in my stomach as I realized that the clock's just ticking until they come and shoot me in the head twice or plant drugs on me or shoot me at a checkpoint or something. And it just, it made me sad to watch all the cowards, his editors and his uh, bosses at the San Jose Mercury News that when it was all the big story, they were telling him what a rock star he was. But then as soon as the system turned against him, how the editor of the LA Times was former CIA and they set about to destroy him. And the CIA declassified three weeks ago on the eve of this film coming out that they indeed set out to destroy Gary Webb. I said I'd cover it at the bottom of the hour. I'm already doing it. Who wrote the Dark Alliance story about CIA drug trafficking. Here's the headline. Managing a nightmare. How the CIA watched over the destruction of Gary Webb. It's, it's, just, it's just so pathetic. And then why would the CIA admit they did this? Why the movie came out? Because they want everybody to know. 
They want to just literally urinate on the corpse of our republic and scare the media and the press right as the CIA rolls out domestically. Ugh. You've forgotten to monitor BlockItPocket.com, haven't you? Oh, how quickly we forget. Blockit Pocket wants you to know that they never forget. You have a right to use wireless technology privately and safely. So go now and monitor BlockItPocket.com's complete line of custom-designed and American-made products. BlockItPocket.com. Enhance your health and privacy in a wireless world. It's here only at BlockItPocket.com. In today's unstable environment, self-protection is critical. Civil unrest, riots, looting, it's happening now right here in the United States. And your rights are at risk. If passed, H.R. 5344 would ban Level 3 and above body armor. KD Armor is standing up for you. We offer the most affordable Level 3 body armor on the market. KD Level 3 armor withstands pistol and rifle hits up to 762 NATO. Get yours at KDArmor.com. That's C-A-T-I Armor.com. KD Armor, come and take it. Another major health threat, this one in Toledo, Ohio, where everybody in the entire city has been told not to drink the water. Ohio's governor declaring a state of emergency. Did you know that the average person uses about 80 to 100 gallons of water at home every single day? If there's a water emergency, will you be prepared? Panicked residents forming long lines throughout the day. We're here at a supermarket in Toledo. You can see the shelves empty where water once was. To stay safe and healthy during a crisis, you must must have access to safe, clean water. Water which will not be available at your local grocery store. There's a mad dash on right now to stock up on supplies. The ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system is a must have for every modern, independently minded household. Protect your family's safety during an emergency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com today to purchase your ProPure Pro 1 G2.0 water filtration system or call 1-88-253-3139. Mike Stennerson for Midas Resources. At no time in history have precious metals been more important, certainly not in my 22 years in the industry. The dollar has lost over 90% of its value in the last 60 years. No fiat currency has ever survived the government printing presses. Ours is not immune. The time is now to be proactive. 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Anything tied to the dollar is at risk. CDs, annuities, 401ks, IRAs, stocks, bonds, you name it. So decide. Do you want to leave a legacy of wealth or debt for your family? The choice is yours. Call me at 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. That's 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. Be proactive, not reactive. Call 1-800-686-2237, extension 116. On September 30th, 2014, the first confirmed case of Ebola appeared in the U.S. This combined with several other unidentified viruses have some of our customers at 30dayfoodsupply.com concerned about the safety of our domestic food supply, resulting in a surge of our $99.90 serving kits. While we at 30dayfoodsupply.com have no expertise in epidemiology, we are aggressively purchasing raw materials that are currently in stock and we intend to continue to sell our 30-day non-GMO emergency food supply for only $99 as long as we can. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then pass the savings on to you. Call 541-229-0010 and purchase our 30-day, 90-day serving emergency food supplies for only $99 and $10 ships your entire order to the lower 48. Visit our website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. 541-229-0010. We have massive global stock market and bond market news, over-the-top important Ebola news. Max Kaiser's coming on the first 30 minutes of the third hour to break down the bond market implosion that he predicted would happen by the middle of this year. So I guess he's a little bit late on that, but... Still accurate. Uh, we're going to get uh, Harry Dent on next week, who's been predicting it'll be depressionary, not inflationary. And it does appear that the collapse is depressionary overall with a bizarre icing of inflationary on top of it. That's not supposed to be able to happen in real economics, but things are so rigged. Uh, bulls run for the exit on U.S. Treasuries. 
Italy and France uh, make plea for growth as EU Asia leaders meet. Gold is up today on global slowdown concerns. Crude oil is plunging below $80 a barrel, but refineries have been restricted as a bottleneck, so don't expect prices to fall too much. This is the type of over-the-top information. I intended to not even talk about Kill the Messenger today, but it was so profound last night watching this movie and so personal and so surreal because I was remembering, man, I really knew this guy well. He wanted to work with me. He wanted to, he had his new book coming out that was going to be basically self-published, exposing the full scope of CIA drug dealing, and they killed him. And he told me he was being threatened. And he told Ricky Ross, who's on next Tuesday, the big CIA crack dealer, biggest in West Coast history, um, that guys were breaking in and they were going to kill him right before they killed him. It's just so unbelievably bizarre that it even came out in Congress in the late 90s with a solicitor inspector general that they were shipping most of the cocaine in, but then they knew the public was so dumbed down, they would go on national television and say, Gary Webb has been discredited. Uh, the uh, dr drug kingpin in the you know, Central American prison says that he never met with him. And then to imagine the LA Times editor who was CIA on record, and the movie even points that out, set out to destroy this journalist. I just hope everybody involved in this knows that when they set him down and said, we're going to kill your family if you don't write this suicide note and then shot him twice in the head, that all of you are accomplices to that. And they say one man dies is a tragedy, 10,000 dies is a statistic, as Joseph Stalin said. It's true. But when you destroy a real journalist and someone who has integrity and courage and who swims against the tide, you then kill the courage of thousands of other journalists and other individuals and whistleblowers and just allow incredible evil to grow. And I, I wouldn't call the film a whitewash. They've got some of the courtroom scenes where they actually threaten to kill Gary Webb out in the hallway repeatedly. And it has a scene where the feds break in his house, break in his car. But, but this happened on a routine basis. And then the CIA wanted to meet with him. So he goes to their offices and they say, we just want you to know your children are safe. I remember Gary Webb telling that story here on air. And the fact that he blew up at him and said, I'm going to publish that story no matter what you do. That's real courage. People say, oh, well, I'd do that. Really? I haven't found a lot of people that when they say, we're going to kill your kids. And I've had them actually tell me, we're going to kill your kids if you don't stop, and I haven't stopped. And you know why? Because my kids don't have a future if we don't stop this. The allegory, and your children don't either, is that we're in a ship that's capsized, and if we don't swim the 50 yards through uh, the submerged area, even though it's scary and dark, and try to get out, we're all going to drown because it's slowly sinking. But a lot of true stories with this happened. Let's say we had oxygen tanks in there. I'm not going to put oxygen tanks on and just sit there and say, well, I get to live an hour longer than everybody else. If I had oxygen tanks, I'd try to swim out even faster than I would if I didn't have oxygen tanks. But see, people just say, well, the tyranny's rising. I'm going to put an oxygen tank in my mouth. I'm going to put a regulator in my mouth, a mouthpiece in, and I'm just going to try to be, you know, the last person standing when this all happens. I'm going to go along and try to survive. No, you'll just be dead in the capsized tyrannical ship of state as well. This country is falling apart. It is just totally disintegrating. Corruption is everywhere. Under the Obama tax laws, they've gotten rid of all the major write-offs, all the major business incentives. Businesses are shutting down everywhere. It's in the news today that it's the highest federal receipts they've ever had. They are destroying the country on purpose. They are wrecking it and looting it. And I'm done talking about Gary Webb. I'm going to shoot a special report for the Nightly News tonight or tomorrow because I really want to do this justice and write some notes and really talk about it. And I want to get my crew to find, send us the links, listeners. Go out and search the web. Old podcast, you name us. Send me the Gary Webb interviews I did. We're on the...